Hello, everybody. This is Bastard Mentor um, Odelia Jackson for the Royal Rulers and Training. I'm with the uh, DKI um, Pneumatology uh, Institute. And just want to share a little bit about myself, um, some of the valleys and mountains in my life as a young person, you know, grew up in a uh, dysfunctional household, um, uh, wound up in foster care uh, for five years and uh, separated from my brothers, but they kept the girls together, me and my sister. And, you know, this, well, and then one day my mother got us back and and then we, we wound up growing up, you know, you know, raising ourselves, okay? And and when I say that, I'm not, you know, dishonoring my mother, that, you know, she did the best that she could with what she knew how. And so she taught us how to do stuff for ourselves, you know, and that was through learning the responsibilities, the chores and stuff in, in, the, in the house. But we practically raised ourselves, so. Um, as I look back, I said, she was teaching us to be self-existent. And one of the reasons why she was doing it because she, you know, she had asthma and she was, she, she was in foster care and her mother died when she was 10. And, um, and she got married at a young age. And so she had us at a young age too. She got married to my father at the age of 15 and, and she had us, okay, <laughs> she had stair steps for me. So 19, it says we had four children at 19. I had three by the time I was 19, starting from the age 15. And um, so it was an ongoing thing there. And um, I just wanted to just share that, you know, as a growing up, I was angry and I was wondering why, you know, especially as a teenager, I could start questioning, why am I here? Who am I? Why did they bring us in this crazy world? Right, I had no idea it was, you know, God sent children here and on assignment too, because they have an assignment. You know, our assignment is to let them know what, you know, point them in the direction that they're supposed to be going um, so that they can display their assignment. And um, so that was uh, one of the uh, things, uh, you know, me growing up, I was just angry. I was really angry. I'm like, my father, was, I was a daddy's girl from what I remember as a little girl. But, at, you know, as I got older, I was like, where is everybody? <laughs> so through the years, I learned, I was angry, but I learned to do things for myself. And um, and that anger took me in a lot of places, you know, that, you know, don't want to be, you know, promiscuous, uh, having children at 15, you know, and um, uh, drinking, you know, taking drugs and all those things and looking for love in the wrong place and um, not realizing, you know, and to me that was like being, wanted to be validated, you know, codependent and um, there's no guidance um, um, that I needed, like I would like to do for the children today. And that's what the Lord had us, that's my assignment to teach the children today so that they don't have to go through that. Now, their minds need to be renewed and they need to know who they are and their, and their true purpose. But as I continue with this, this uh, valleys and, you know, beginning of my life, um, through all, through those years, I, I just kept saying to myself, why am I here? You know, what is this? And then after I come out of the, uh, the drugs and got myself together and, and the Lord started talking, you know, I got, I was born again. And then the Lord started talking to me, telling me to get your kids together. Okay. So I started teaching them through the Proverbs and the Psalms. Um, and uh, didn't know it was, that was the uh, doctrine that I was teaching. Didn't know it. But, um, um, but I was doing what he told me to do. Okay. A lot of times I don't even know what I was doing. I was just following what I heard the spirit speaking to me. And I remember one day I was cleaning up the house and singing, you know, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. You know, and I heard in my spirit again, it says, 
If you love me, feed my sheep. And that's when the Bible club got started at my house on my block. And they had children come in. They didn't even know Jesus. They used to ask me, who is Jesus? When I would start teaching about Jesus, you know, so, you know, I don't, I don't not, uh, coming up in the tradition of, uh, you know, the church tradition that I, I did, because I learned a whole lot. I just didn't learn the accurate knowledge of, of God. So, you know, that, uh, that knowledge of good and evil kind of like trick you up. So when you learn the knowledge, the accurate knowledge of God, um, they don't get tricked up with that. And so that's why I say it's so good that you know, I wish I would have known the stuff that I know now when I was young, you know, I think things would have been a whole lot different. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so um, I love to teach because I used to have my sisters and brothers on the steps. I remember that like it was yesterday, teaching them. And I had no idea I would still be doing this almost 40 years later. <laughs> I'm still teaching children. And now I have my grandchildren. So that's part of my answer prayer. You got to watch out when you pray about stuff because God will use you. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, God will use you uh, to do what you praying for. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so our children need to know who they are. They need to know their true divine purpose. Why? Who are they? And who who they um they need to know who they are and why they're here and the mechanics of how to use what our father given us okay and and uh, so uh, one of the things I was I was thinking about was that um you know how um, dogs make puppies they, them puppies is after their own kind right and cats make kittens. They have to after their own time, right? <laughs> Dogs learn to bark. The puppies learn to bark from their, uh, you know, they learn to bark. I think it's just in them. That's their nature. <clears throat> and same thing with cats meowing. Well, God said in Genesis 1, 26, that he, had, he said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. Okay? So when he made us, they breathed a breath of life into man. We were made after our, after his own kind. You know, we were gods. We are God. We are gods. And um, and after his likeness, we are supposed to be doing the same things that he did. You know, when Jesus said, I only do what I uh, see my father doing. I only say what I, what I hear my father saying. Those are the things that our children need to learn because they... They claim to be bored, even after they had them had the, the electronics or whatever. I think, think they just use that because they don't know what to do with themselves. They they need, even though that's fun, you know, they, but they're letting it rule them. And they're supposed to rule in life, not let life rule them. And so those are one of the things, those are some of the things that they need to know that you're supposed to uh, uh, walk in authoritative power as a young person. You know that scripture that talks about don't let no man despise thy youth, you know, and I can't remember off the top of my head the rest of that. It talks about how you're supposed to be in purity and, and you know, example of the believer and all those things. That's where the integrity comes and the uh, equity comes in. And those things have to be broken down. So it's, it takes time because, you know, their mind has to be renewed. They have to be off the electronics for, for, that, uh, for that hour. And, and it might be only 45 minutes, but I give it an hour just in case somebody got questions. <laughs> so, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, these are uh, some of the things that we're going to talk about: the priest mode, um, the God mode, uh, their, um, uh, you know, practices of what they're supposed to be doing. Just like the disciples when Jesus sent them out to heal the sick and uh, cast out devils and set the captives free just like Jesus as Jesus is so are we <laughs> um, excuse me <laughs> I put this cold from these little kids um and um and in first John 4 17 it talks about uh as Jesus is so are we in this world right 
in Galatians 2 20 says that we were crucified with him. Nevertheless, we live, yet not I, but Christ lived in me. Who's me? Christ, right? <laughs> right? So, and you know, this is the life which we ought to be, we ought to be living by the faith of the Son of God. So if you know how to operate in the name of God, you will be operating in the faith, in the, the faith of the Son of God. So I was just thinking, you know, how you, you know, to breaking this down so that children can understand who they really are in, um, in, in, in the Father and, and that they become one. And it has to be with the mindset because you already have the mind of Christ which the scripture says, but you have to learn what mind is this because we have so many things going on around us. So they need to know how to operate in self-existent instead of codependent. They need to um they need to know how they need to know um uh the father's voice they need to know how to operate in the words of knowledge the uh, you know healing the sick they need to know when when to give a prophecy and and all those things from the father but they must do what the father what they see the father doing they have to see that in the spirit room, okay? And, they, and, um, and they're not with your eyes, but in the spirit room. And they have to, they have to um, you know, say what the father said. That's from the spirit room, you know? It's not what uh, Pookie and them said or Bob or somebody else has said, you know? It's what the father says when you do all these things, uh, words of knowledge and prophecy and all those things. And they have to know how. So all it takes time and it has to be broken down so that they can grasp it. And then, you know, turn the world upside down. <laughs> Not be turned up, but turn the world upside down, okay? So uh, those are some of the things. And then, and, you know, as I, uh, the Lord brought me out of all of those things, because, you know, they say you come to the end of yourself. That's what happened with me. I had come to the end of myself. I didn't want to die like that or live like that no more. And so I went to the Lord and he met me where I was at. And then he taught me. He said, I will, he said, I will teach you and instruct you in the way that you should go. And I was listening because I, I mean, you know, I was ready. <laughs> so my prayer is that we have e uh, children who have ears and ready to hear. I have to move the little girl over. She's seeing everything. <laughs> so I'm going to stop it right here because she's getting into too much stuff. But just want to share a little bit about that. Starting uh, on Patreon, um, you know, we need the parents. The Bible talks about, not the Bible. I've never seen that in the Bible. Scratch that. <laughs> but I've heard that say that it takes a village to uh, raise children. And so we need the parents' help to get them in front of the Zoom. And, um, and so that they can hear with understanding of their uh, priest mode and walking in the name and operating in the spirit realm so that they can um, uh, be as the father wants them. So they can know what the father wants them to know at, um, and not in, from the tradition of men, but from the true knowledge of Elohim Okay, that they would uh, learn the knowledge of God, not the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> Even though they may hear it and seen some of it already, but they would not live from it. They would live from the reference point of the spirit of God. And that is where we're trying to go. Um, well, et cetera, okay? Because <laughs> I got these kids, I try to watch the kids at the same time <laughs> doing this. And um, so we will, um, October, this, uh, October, every Wednesday and, come on little girl, you're gonna fall. Every Wednesday and Thursday, that's when we're gonna start out. We see how things go, we might have to tweak it. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. I usually do an hour, but usually it's 45 minutes, uh, unless somebody got some questions or, you know, about something. And, um, and I think that's basically it starting in October. I, wasn't want, I wanted to wait till everybody gets settled in school. You know, I get the clothes, we got to do this, we got to do that. And getting settled in school this way at seven at night, just before they go to bed, 
Some kids, I know some kids don't go to that bed that early, but you know, they get the word in them before it's time for bed. And um, and they get to um, meditate, uh, they get to practice what they're learning, they get to um, understand uh, walking in the name and the priest, priest mode. So looking forward to doing this um, with our children, our youth, this generation and the generation behind them that's coming, that God's will be uh, done in, in, in this whole matter. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm distracted with the kids. You see, I got this one here climbing on stuff. I got this one over here climbing over the flowers. <laughs> All right. And I'm trying to do this at the same time. So anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about my youth my, you know, I understand my assignment. Um, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just um be operating in the spirit too. Okay, as the spirit shows me what he needs them to know, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, and um, and then I'm just, you know, just this is one of the places that I am. Um, I uh, I, I guess you call it a niche. I don't even know what you call it, but I enjoy doing it. Okay, yeah, all right, I enjoy doing it. Once I had accepted what God had told me in my spirit that this is the assignment that he had given me, you know, and he made it very clear. That encounter was so clear, it made butterflies in my stomach that um, this is the assignment he had given me and that I am a trainer. That's what he told me too. And you know what trainers are, right? They, they, they coaches and teachers, okay? <laughs> So I went and looked it up. Okay. <laughs> so now um uh, uh so can't wait to get started again and uh look forward to seeing you all. That uh, we'll be putting up a link and uh, a reminder of when we're getting ready to get started, okay, with the Patreon um on, on that platform. All right. Talk to y'all later. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Okay, see y'all later.